Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a highly requested video that's been highly requested for months now. So today I will be reviewing the Jeffree Star Skin Frost, as you guys can see right here. I will give you my opinions on it, whether I like it or not, if it's really good for the price, things like that. So if you're interested in this video, please keep on watching, as well as like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And if you are not, please stop right here. It's not worth your time and effort. So let's get on to the review. I have six out of the nine highlighters. The only ones I do not have are Onyx Ice, which is the black one, Ice Cold, which is the white gold one, the one he says is good for um, very fair skin, as well as Lavender Snow, which is a lavender one. So, um, Jeffree Star first came out with his skin frost in May. Um, I wasn't able to get my hands on it the first launch, but I was able to get my hands on it the second launch. So for the second launch, I was able to get Dark Horse, which is this really deep copper gold chick right here. So fucking gold, which is this really beautiful old gold. Peach goddess, which is this beautiful peach rose gold shade. And then deep freeze, which is this really cool, like beauty blue, icy blue shade. And then um, recently I picked up two of the original shades, which is King Tut and mint condition. Regarding um, deep freeze and mint condition, I just picked up these as novelty items. Um, I think they're really cool. I can do a lot of like different looks with them. Use them as eyeshadow, use them as actual highlighter, which I have done before. Has come out really cool. Um, I'm thinking about doing monochromatic looks using these two, like a green look and a blue look. Um, let me know if you're interested in those, by the way. So the packaging looks like this. It's bright pink with the logo in rose gold with Jeffree Star Cosmetics. On the back, the back, sorry, it's dirty. On the back, it has the logo, Skin Frost, and then the shade name, as well as the distribution, weight, etc. Each Skin Frost retails were $29 and they can be found at Jeffrey's website, Beauty Bay for the UK, as well as Beautylish. It's free shipping over $100 on Jeffrey's site and then on Beautylish it's free shipping over $35. Um, normally for Jeffrey's packages it takes about maybe a week, week and a half. For Beautylish it takes about two to three business days to get to me. So say if I order on a Tuesday, I'll probably get it latest by Friday, which is really good. And Beautylist ships by uh, FedEx Express and Jeffrey ships for our USPS. For the price, what I mean that is really good for the price versus Becca highlighters, which you get eight grams in the highlighter and you pay $38. And Anastasia, which I have to feel is like eight or nine grams, it's $28 or $30. Um, $29 for like double the amount of product you get is really, really, really good. Like I was saying how like you're getting half an ounce of highlighter, I am going to compare it to my um, Sephora Aruba um, Sundisk Bronzer. So I'm going to compare the size of the Skin Frost versus my Sephora Sundisk Aruba Bronzer. This is huge. This is 30 grams, which is equivalent to one ounce of product. The Skin Frost is 15 grams, which is equivalent to 0.53 ounces of product. So you can see they're both pretty big. Like, my fingers are stretching for the Aruba bronzer, and then the um, Jeffree Star highlighter is barely fitting in my hand. So I'm going to open them up so you guys can see. So pretty much, 
this is half of this, which you can see from my Aruba bronzer. I've had this for a long time. I use this to bronze my body up in the summertime. I have not hit pan on this, and I've had this for a very, very long time. Like, four years, four and a half years, and this is still, I haven't even put a dent in it. So, you're not going to use a lot of this if you're very light-handed. I'm pretty heavy-handed with the Aruba bronzer, and I still haven't made a dent in it. So this is a size comparison with something that's of a comparable size. I don't know what to say. Oh, these highlighters are very, 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 very pigmented. So, like, I didn't even use a lot on my cheeks. I have a mix of Dark Horse and King Tut. And I barely dipped my brush in it, and that's what I got for my cheeks. Like, boom. Like, it's crazy bright. But they are really, 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 really pigmented. And I'm gonna swatch for that. Swatch this. So this is King Tut right there. And I'm gonna swatch so fucking gold next to it, which I already had a finger swatch. I don't know why. But you can see they're very, very pigmented, and I barely dip my finger in it. Like, look, boom, boom. Like, if you're going to use a highlighter brush on it, which I'm going to show you right now, I'm going to do an example on my hand, you don't need a lot of product. Like, I barely touched it. Look, you do not need a lot. I'm going to take my A23 brush from Anastasia, and I'm going to barely touch Star Horse. Barely. I'm lightly touching. I'm gonna tap off the excess, and then I'm just gonna like you don't even need a lot. Look, yeah, you really don't need a lot. So yeah, like these are really really intense because they're really op opaque. I do like pigmented highlighters. Like these are crazy pigmented, so you don't need a lot. And I think sometimes they're too pigmented, which makes them really soft. It makes the formula too soft. That's why, um, I think that's why they're so pigmented. Their pigmentation makes the formula really soft. I don't know what I'm saying. I know that the pigmentation kind of makes it softer. I don't know. Whatever Jeffrey's thinking, he wanted them to be really intense, that's all we know. So I'm gonna talk about which shades I think are more crumbly, which shades are more solid. I can, I guess, like, which ones don't crumble as much. So the three shades I definitely have to say get quite everywhere are Deep Freeze, Mid Condition, and King Cut. Like, I have to be very careful, like, I will find, if I've been playing with Mid Condition, I will find it everywhere on me. Same with Deep Freeze, and... King Tot, not so much, but I still have found it. Like, I'll find it in weird places. Like, I would have just been moving the compacts with, um, like, rearranging my room, and I move the compacts, I'll have highlighter over my fingers. So, yeah, there they are. Like, I still, now I have them all over my home. Like, look. So, I feel like these three are the messiest. But, yeah. Oh, my God, like. Mid condition and deep freeze all over my hands. Not king tight. Oh my god, it's on my shirt too. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, but like I said, mid condition and deep freeze are the most messy out of all of them. I'm trying to find a towel. Um, in terms of like being solid um, and not as like fallouty slash glittery, definitely half. Uh, to say, um, in terms of that, um, Dark Horse is number one for that. Like, this, I feel like, is not as soft as the other ones. Um, then Peach Goddess, and then So Fucking Gold. I don't know about Ice Cold, Onyx Ice, and Lavender Snow because I don't have them. I've been using these for a while now, um, and I would definitely have to say my two favorites are So Fucking Gold and King Tut. 
Like, I gravitate towards gold highlighters because I have dark skin, obviously. I love these. I usually use So Fucking Gold more. Um, I, I love this color. Like, it's the prettiest old gold shade. I'm going to swatch it next to King Tut. But that's it right there. It's the prettiest old gold shade. And I feel like this looks better on me than King Tut by itself. Even though King Tut by itself is beautiful, I think this suits me better. Overall, I really like these. Um, they're very, very pigmented. They blend easily. Um, they're really nice for the price point if you're interested in that. Um, just if you're going to be using them, use a very, very light hand or things can get really, really intense. Just saying, if you're not used to wearing highlighter, I would start off with a very like subtle glow kind of glow from within highlighter not like a boom bam highlighter like this um that's all i'm saying uh i hope you all enjoyed my skin frost review i finally got it up for you guys after months and months and months i apologize for doing that um it's been really crazy in the gym school and everything so i'm gonna try to like pre-film videos if I can and have them up regularly guys I'm trying but I'm dying at the same time but um but yeah uh thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys